is a sign of narcissism and narcissism listen to me i dated two and the reason why i dated two because i didn't learn my lesson from the first one <laughs> If you know me, you know I love two-piece sets. So yeah. I was gonna do like a morning routine, but of course, yeah. <laughs> um, I got a few hours, well, I slept in a little bit longer. So yeah, we guess just jump into the vlog now. Let's get something to eat and then we talk. <sighs> okay, we finally off the freeway. The sliding is gonna get better. Um, my greedy butt ate my food on the way here. Usually, I like to eat like you guys know. Usually, my usual vlog style. Like I usually go to school and then sit in the parking lot. But we're doing a little different. Hold on. Let me make this turn. And this coffee, I know this coffee is cold, so I'm gonna have to heat it up before class. Okay. So I hope you've been catching up on all my vlogs. If you haven't seen this past weekend, I finally went out. I have not been going out lately. <laughs> lately, usually I'm just grinding me and mom doing pop-ups and pushing the business i haven't had like you know time to really go out all i've been is working and you know in school so you guys know i have a job too so i went out but i'm not with my cousins um i don't have that many friends and then i invited a few friends that i do have to come but nobody could come so i'm like i just you know went with my cousins and um you guys know like after my grandma passed Wait, before my grandma passed, I wasn't really close to my family like that. Because I'm stuff out. I'm sorry. I was going. You, know, you guys know. <laughs> um, but anyway, I went with my cousins and I had so much fun. I don't think. Well, yeah, they had fun too. You guys should watch that video. Um, I finally finished editing it, so I've been doing good with the editing in my editing schedule. I, I was getting slightly overwhelmed because like I have so much stuff to do. Like I have homework and. Me and mom are doing a marketplace. We're doing our own marketplace. So it's that is hard trying to promote it and get vendors and all that. So it's just been a lot and I've been a little overwhelmed a little bit. So I'm trying to really stay in the moment. I um I saw this clip that was trying to say like if you get overwhelmed or anxiety, I don't have anxiety, but um is it, they they said that you're too focused on the future you need to stay present something like that i'm paraphrasing hold on let me i'll probably should wait till i get to school to really talk to you guys okay okay we almost here at the parking lot but overall i had a good time and i met someone there um he's really cool but it's two thing i mean well he has a couple strikes against him already on my book but he, he invited me out on a date hold on let's talk let's talk let me find a parking spot and i'm going the wrong way huh shit <laughs> that's fine i like parking in the back over here because literally when you're trying to leave it's so hard it's a long line but hold on Okay. Okay, making a right time. All right, let me miss this. Hold on, let me. Oh, that alarm. Hold on, hold on. I need to post something. Oh, I didn't even do it. Shit. Did somebody start the alarm? Oh, let me post this real quick and I'm gonna tell you where I'm at. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, okay, there we go. 
so I'm posting a, a quick little video but anyway while I was saying this uh, let me say this the guy he has two children with two different baby mamas I don't like that usually I like to date guys with no children well I do like to date guys with no children so he has a couple of points against him already I know that's people gonna say something because they always say something when I explain some of my standards like when I was younger I didn't really have standards for myself and you can tell by like, the guys I was dating it was not the wisest choice for me to to do that but now I have standards for myself and um yeah but I don't know about him I don't know um so far is no I'm not uh, you know what? I don't know. I'm not going to talk too much about it. I'm not. <laughs> but I do want to say one more thing and then we have to go. Because usually I like to get here early so I can just chat and all that. But yeah, I, I'm blaming McDonald's because <laughs> usually I'm here a little earlier. And this needs to be warmed up. It's, it's getting cold now. Mm, okay. I'm going to say this real quick and then I need to start promoting something. So... For this is for this is advice for anyone well, young girls well, you know anyone actually i suggest if you're going to date or talk to somebody do not rush into anything do not rush into a relationship talk to them first and i say that because <laughs> a friend of mine nothing more just a friend he <sighs> probably not oh shit you know what Alright, okay, there. I'm going to take that out. <laughs> All I'm going to say is, do not rush into anything. Rush into a relationship is a sign of narcissism. It's a sign of narcissism. And narcissism. Listen to me. I dated two. And the reason why I dated two because I didn't learn my lesson from the first one. So, yeah. And mind you, like I said this on live and somebody commented don't they need love too and they do you right everybody needs love but not for me not for me dating a narcissist will break you mentally the last guy i dated that was a narcissist <laughs> i'm sorry that was the coffee i'm kicking him he what i mean he broke me it took me over a year and a half to get back to myself like mentally physically not physically but mental like and the thing is these men are really smart some are stupid as hell but some are really smart and they know like they see a sign of weakness they are going to attack it and at that moment when i met this last one i wasn't i wasn't at my highest point and when you're not at your full potential your your highest um you have like little like if you're going through something don't date anyone because it's gonna break you even worse i learned that the hard way so I'm trying to prevent that from, prevent that hurt from happening to anyone else. <sighs> okay. Now that that's out the way, my little rant. What's well, not even a rant? This is me trying to help. Um Yeah, I've been date I'm a serial dater. You guys know that. I'm a serial dater. So doing that, I have seen a lot of different men, a lot of different a lot. And I feel like I get I, I can give a lot of advice. Mind you, you can date a lot of men most you can have one every day of the week you don't have to have so you don't have to sleep with them you don't have to so um i know a lot of some people equate when you date a lot that you're a hoe or something like that i don't like that i don't like that term hoe because i feel you know what never mind i'm not gonna keep on <laughs> i'm not gonna keep on ranting over this because you know what? let's go on live i'm gonna go on live one of these days and then i'm gonna really go in Dip. Okay, I have to go. <laughs> I keep looking at the time. I'm gonna put a jacket on because I know I'm still at school. You know what I mean? Like, uh, and it's kind of cold too. All right. Today's gonna be an amazing day. I have so much stuff to do today too. All right, let's go. Mm. All 
right, it's okay. We gotta go, we got like 10 minutes before class start. <laughs> so class is over, I'm walking to the car. Today, my brother is getting a reward, so me and my mom are gonna run up there. I know it's gonna be traffic though. And then we might go to Taco Tuesday tonight. Um, if I vlog, I'm gonna vlog on my phone. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog so far. Okay, so I woke up to this order this morning, so I have to ship it. And this is a lot of bubble wrap, so I know. And you guys already know everybody gets a nice gift. 